My name is Necessity Ngorima. I come from Zimbabwe, but I moved to South Africa about 20 years ago. I moved to South Africa to go to UCT as an underground grad, and I actually just never looked back. I've loved South Africa since then. And I went after graduating, I went to work in the finance industry in investment banking. And I, I actually absolutely loved it as well. But there was always a sense in me that I needed to do something in leadership. I need to do something that's focused on values. And that actually, that feeling grew deeper as I was progressing in my career. And then uh, eventually I had children. And after I had children, I looked at myself and I looked at my career and I thought, what would I want to leave for them? What kind of legacy would be important? And I decided that I needed to actually um, stop and look at where I was heading. And I, that's when I applied for UCT. After I had children, we decided, my husband and I decided to move to Cape Town. And the thought was always there that you have to look at something values-based. You have to look at how you can contribute back into society. I've come from Zimbabwe. I'm now in South Africa. People actually are living in very difficult times. The everyday man is living a very difficult life. How can I make a difference? So I eventually um, applied for the UCT uh, GSB MBA program because that actually speaks to me. This is a values-based program and it's looking at who I am as a, a woman who wants to be, who is driven, who is career-oriented, but who also wants to give back to society and who wants to make a positive contribution, not just for my children, but, but for other people's children and their children also. In my career, as I said, it was in investment banking, so it was a lot of profit-driven kind of thinking and if I wanted to be a leader and which I want to be, I had to think about what people would say, maybe the softer skills that get neglected. Uh, I had to think about what my values are, my core values, what I want to drive going forward. I had to think about things that affect society and through that I wanted to interact with like-minded people, with people who are who want to make a difference and I needed to study more literature. So I knew there was something missing. And I thought that this MBA, this holistic kind of MBA program is what would help me. That was the missing link in my career. I'm an extremely independent person and uh, I thought for the longest time that I could do this on my own. So when I applied and when they were talking about how rigorous the program is and how much support you need, I actually didn't think I'd need all that. And then uh, the program started and immediately, it wasn't that I found there was something lacking in, within myself. I actually found I wanted to interact with people. I wanted the support and I wanted to even give support to other people. So they make it very collaborative and they make it exciting. And I was excited to be part of the team. So they, you are able to contact the lecturers, not just about what's specifically in the syllabus, but if you want to apply it to what you're doing at work right there, they can help you. They're available to talk to you. And my husband has been amazing in helping me and supporting me, which was important because the program is very intensive. And then we have within our group, um, well, within the modular class, people talk, there's time to make jokes, and then we encourage each other. If you find yourself um, falling behind on something, there's always someone to help you and someone to talk to you. And it's, it's an amazing community. I've, I've actually absolutely loved it. I think it becomes, it is a very difficult thing as a mother, and I'm sure um, a lot Lot of mothers are willing to talk about this as well to say uh, with each role um, 
that you have, you find that you think that you're not giving enough. So even stay-at-home mothers who just have a single role as a stay-at-home mother, they often find that they're not giving enough and there's more to give. And then if you throw in being a full-time um, employee as well as being a mother, being a wife, and then going to the MBA program, it feels like you're being pulled in all sorts of different directions. It feels like you have to wear so many different hats at, and keep changing them all the time. And it can get overwhelming, but the UCT structure, it's, they actually talk to you and they calm you down and they talk you down and they say, it's okay sometimes to feel overwhelmed. You have to acknowledge that you're going through a difficult path right now, but you have to be, have purpose in mind to say, this is the goal I want to reach. And then you have to be able to just talk to people and say, okay, can you help me? Can you support me with this? And, but it is a lot of work, but I think if you get enough support, if you're able to just talk to people, it's fine. You'll be able to give yourself to each of the tasks at hand. And that's what I found. It's, it's, pretty difficult, more in the sense of time. You, They throw a lot of literature at you. They throw a lot of readings they, and it's a lot of tasks, a lot of group work. So you get kind of a sense that um, within the class, you're all in this together. You know, you've committed, you're going to do this, you're in this together. So you are, I don't know, it's a path you're in and it's a journey you're in and you're fighting it together. So at the end of each modular class, uh, of each modular session, we actually look back and we, we think, wow, I can't believe I actually got through this. And everyone's saying the same. And then we just laugh and say, well, we got through it all together. So it's hard, but they make sure that it's manageable. I think the program itself has done quite a lot to make sure that they push and stretch, but they don't break you. There, there are actually quite a, a number of people. There's, um, off the top of my head, we have, um, uh, there's a guy called Nick. He's a medical doctor. He has no background training in, in terms of anything in the finance field. And he's just taken it on and he's working really, really hard. And it's very interesting to get a perspective from someone who hasn't been in in, finance, in the finance world for myself, who's always been in finance. So it's very interesting to talk to him and get his perspective of things. And then they have a number of um, engineers and it's, it's quite, <laughs> I'll say, interesting to get uh, engineering answers to the way uh, things they think things should run. It's always nice that now you have people in who come from the arts who bring some nuance to how things actually maybe sub run in real life. And um, there are people who are international. So it's actually, it's very nice that there are a lot of people from other African countries. And um, South Africa is very blessed um, to have things like the infrastructure they have, but uh, a lot of other African countries don't have that infrastructure and they don't function in maybe the efficient way that sometimes South Africa does and sometimes the developed world does. So it's quite good actually to get some real world uh, perspectives, especially from um, what's happening on the ground in Africa. I think UCT is doing a good job in um, taking responsibility and especially on the gender side. Uh, but I, I will say that I think they're doing too good of a job where I was interacting with uh, some fellow women in the MBA program and they were, and they are, I think, the, on, on the younger side. And they were saying to me that they don't think that there is a big gender gap from what they've seen and what has been discussed. And part of that is that they have um, short work experience and then they've gone into the MBA program and the MBA program really pushes equality and which is positive, which is great. And um, I think we've got sessions that are going to be coming up that actually show that in the real world, it's not like this and how you can fight and try to break the glass ceiling from the women's end. 
One of the big influences for myself in my work so far has been um, the leadership course that we have done where you examine yourself and try to think what my values are and how I am applying that in my personal life and at work. And it was quite interesting that um, once I sat and actually did that, I saw that even at work, sometimes what I thought my values are were not aligning exactly with my actions. So sometimes I would actually pull myself back and say, you say you want to be patient, you want to be understanding, and that will foster better relations with uh, fellow employees and that will foster an environment of sharing and inclusiveness. Sometimes you're not being so patient. So for me, it was so far, it's been a lot of the, um, I'll say softer skills that I think are quite important in the office settings that I'm actually starting to, to put in place now in how I interact and how I think about other people's perspectives. And it's been amazing because it's actually opened up a whole new perspective to how people deal with me and how people think. And I've actually been gaining a lot of insight um, into people and into situations. I used to procrastinate a lot, but right now I don't have time for that. I actually um, need to do things and get tasks done. So I've been, uh, I've actually become more focused um, in terms of the things that I need to do and I make sure I do it, I do it thoroughly so that I don't repeat things. And I, I listen more and I try to, I, I think I, I'm getting more empathetic. I think if I was thinking about starting an MBA now, I would be nervous. But uh, this is me, this would be me without the experience of knowing what actually is in the MBA program. Um, now that I'm in it, I'm really happy and having the knowledge of, no, let me talk about this again. I, I need to put my thoughts in order because what That's I'm fine. trying to say is actually, if, and this is not for the thing, I'm trying okay. to just translate from Shona to English <laughs> and then I'll say um, that with actually the benefit of knowing what's in the program it's worth it but you know when you're outside and you're nervous uh, you might not get in but it's being in the inside I know it's, it's worth it even through the turmoil. I think entering into uh, new ventures um, is always um it's always scary sometimes, um, especially during this time because it's a big financial investment and you want to uh, feel that you're going to get a return. Right now is a time of great uncertainty, but um, I would do it. I would, right now, I would do it to get into a program where I would actually learn things about how to help in society, how to lead in society uh, during tough times. And I think times are going to be tougher and you need within your portfolio uh, some knowledge of actually how to deal with uncertainty. And I think this would be a great opportunity uh, right now to see even how the professionals are dealing with uncertainty. And it's a great place to learn and great place to start. Part of why I think people do an MBA is uh, because they want to climb the corporate ladder. So it is about um, really career growth and trying to just beat the next guy. And, and I, I think that's important though, to, to grow in your career, to actually advance. But I think uh, people need to put a lot of thoughts into the MBA program that they choose because you end up going through the, the trenches, not only with the lecturers, but with fellow students and you get these bonds and you, you learn with each other. And this is learning from such diverse backgrounds that 
people you actually would never normally interact with that might end up becoming your friends for the rest of your life or your sounding boards for careers. So I think it's important to actually sit and go through the MBA programs to say, what are the values that are in each program? What are they trying to teach? And is this the direction I want to go? Not just having your name on a prestigious piece of paper. It's actually what you're going to learn and what you think uh, they're going to teach you that will change the rest of your life. So I think it's important to get into a great program academically, but also a program that teaches you to be a better person, not just for yourself and your family and trying to make more money, but actually just for society. And that's it.